So it has been a while since working on this Helica and there's good reason I have finished my finals. Finished the four classes with two A's and two C's. A bit lower than what I'd like, but I did the C's to myself. Well, one of them anyways. The other one was because the class was genuinely really hard. Um, but still passed and got all my units. Sadly, next semester, um, electrical class will probably be given instead of electronics, which is just advanced electrical, which means I'm gonna only have four classes, but hopefully, 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 I can get another, I can get gen ed class to fill it in. Probably not because it's only four units, but that's whatever. It's life, you know. The Mazda has gotten some work done. I have gutted the remainder of the interior, so there is one, two, three, four, five, seven pieces of interior trim left. The harness system is better, a lot better in my opinion. <clears throat> and yeah, the original airbag is there and there's no more airbag light. But right now we are focused on the Celica, which is getting the body line back down there painted. It got oversprayed with blue, so I am going back over it to spray it with black so that it just has a nicer finish and actually makes the car look lower in my opinion. Um, I do want to put side skirts on this, so <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose, but <clears throat> loud truck. the purpose so I still haven't found uh, side skirts for this car or even like a body kit so that might not even be one um, I'm using Krylon still this is satin black paint and primer uh, I have bought clear coat and I'm gonna clear this car hopefully before next Wednesday today is Thursday, I think. I don't know actually. So I have a week. I have a week to get this done because I have less than that actually because the clear coat has to sit and cure. Um, the rear lights on this are, they don't work. One of the bulbs is actually busted. And yeah, right now this side is done. The other side is not. And I'm also doing the little guards here because <clears throat> right here, these fins are blue right now. And damn, damn. Uh, you can see the kind of like the acne marks on the car. Uh, I was told that I should fill it in with epoxy before I painted it. But I didn't want to because it reminds me a lot of my own skin. And for personal reasons, it's like, not even for personal reasons, it just looks like me more. Which is kind of like what I wanted the cars to be. <coughs> Excuse me. The Mazda does not look like me at all. It's just, it's different. <laughs> uh, I am losing my voice again. <clears throat> but it's okay. Um... Yeah, the plan is actually for that car to go on Raceland coils with Cork Sport rear control arms and a Cork Sport rear sway bar with the billet mounts. I would go with the Megan ones because it's the same sway bar, but it doesn't come with the billet mounts, even though it's like eighty dollars more. The billet sway bar mounts, I think, are worth it because my sway bar mounts are <laughs> falling apart. I didn't realize how much rust was at the bottom of that car, but it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, so rear control arms, sway bar, low uh, coils, and a uh, under tray. <coughs> Excuse me, an <clears throat> and an under tray, so that my oil pan doesn't get destroyed. Um, yeah, it comes out to about fifteen hundred dollars after taxes, so hopefully I got the internship with Tesla, 
because I do not have 1500 on me. <laughs> um, yeah. I just want to camber it out a little bit. Maybe, maybe like two and a half degrees in the rear and a degree and a half in the front, if it's possible at all. And then same thing with the Celica, but obviously wider wheels on both of them, wheels and tires. Um, not really a stretched look per se, but more of like a flush fitment. I, I still haven't fixed the wiring issue on the Celica, but it's also gotten a lot worse. <clears throat> it's now the clock and radio don't turn on all the way all the time. So I think their connection, which is in the driver's side floor kick kick out uh, fuse box is just bad. So I might just take that apart and check it out and see if maybe that's the issue. Because my brake lights work. It's just my ignition switch doesn't work. But when I DMM'd it uh, using a multimeter, I mean, when I use my multimeter, I got voltage, so not voltage, I got continuity, so I think it's just the fuse box itself is bad. <clears throat> oh, I also got this car in Forza, so I'm going to build my car how it's here in Forza, but the way I want it in real life. But the Forza 1 is all-wheel drive. Can't do that, it's too expensive. I would case this actually. No, ter no uh, Tesla, it's too expensive, not at this time. But I don't think a K series fits because I can't find a kit for it. <laughs> Mostly the mounts, but I I'll figure something out with it. So I finished painting. I didn't record anything because it was just like simple and just tape, paper, paint. <laughs> but it makes such a difference. Like these accent marks, like. It's such a small, subtle detail. Ow. But it makes such a difference not seeing the blue anymore. And having that crisp body line. Like, holy hell. It makes such a difference. And this side, I just... It, it just makes such a, diff such a difference to me anyways. I don't even know if it's lined up properly, but... It just makes such a difference for me. And I don't know. It just... Ow, that one actually hurt a little bit. It, it makes the car look a little bit lower. But it is going to get lower eventually. It's like four inches too tall. But I need to roll my fenders and get fitment properly. But that's going to happen on that car first. And then this car. This one is not going to get much done until the wiring issue for the rear lights and my clock and radio get fixed. But, oh, those wipers are on wrong. And I need to clear this car and get a trunk. So this car has a lot of work left to be done before modifications could even be done. That car has everything done. So modifications are gonna be done once I have money. <laughs> this car has eaten pretty much everything I have left.